few days ago, we set a new record for shortest amount of time uh, on a road trip in between using bathrooms, and this morning blew that record away. So not all RV parks are gems, and some of them aren't even diamonds in the rough. I think that was a really good stop. It was a good stop. That was worth it. Definitely worth it. Went to Uncle Don. Pennsylvania, we've got, uh, I guess, well, it should be another three hour drive. A few days ago, we set a new record for shortest amount of time uh, on a road trip in between using bathrooms, and this morning blew that record away. So the old record was 13 minutes, I think it was. This morning, it was uh, really, it was three minutes on the road, but eight minutes since the bathrooms had been used. It's gonna be very frustrating. All right, we're, we're hitting the road. Here we go, here we go and bathroom so we, we found a gas station and we're in pennsylvania so and we're on like side roads so there's not like a whole lot of places to pull over uh so i filled up with gas and then we hit the road again and then we're driving through a very small narrow road in the town and this gentleman's honking his horn at us uh, roll down the window and i'm thinking oh god we got a we got a flat tire or something and he said your gas cap is open okay so i pulled over to the side of the road when all of a sudden you hear this da, 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 and she you're hitting the sign, which frustrated me even more. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy our trailer. So, number one, if you're frustrated, just stop, take a breath. Uh, and number two, when you're on a residential street, both, well, actually, I think both streets are somewhat um, curved for water runoff, drainage, etc. So what happens is when that road is curved down, even though your tires may be further away from the curb, your tall trailer is sitting at an angle and that can hit signs. But anyway, so when I got out, there was, there was no damage. We kind of dodged a bullet and then got back in the truck and just realized I need to take a breath. So take your time. If something happens that frustrates you, just stop. Now we are off to Matamoros, Pennsylvania. It's really just like a stop halfway. Uh, between where we were near Hershey, Pennsylvania, and we're going to New Hampshire. We're gonna stay with her aunt. It had already been an interesting day for us. The frustrations of the morning and the minor scare of possibly damaging Dutch had us on edge. Fortunately, the rest of the drive to Matamoros, Pennsylvania went well, and by the time we arrived, we were in a great mood. Little did we know that we were about to arrive at the worst RV park we'd been to yet. The false advertisement and the RV park we were about to experience really made the rest of our night interesting. So not all RV parks are gems, and some of them aren't even diamonds in the rough. If you look behind me, ours is literally a, um, it's a gravel pit. We just needed a place to hold up for a night. I went online. The pictures for this RV park I don't think were recent because they actually showed grass. There's our yard. Corbin, go play in the yard. Where's the yard at? It's right there. It's right in front of you. <laughs> Get off my lawn. This is the yard. The, the sites are level. Uh, there is electricity. There's water. You just gotta let it flush out because it's well and it's it's a little brown when you first start running it. And you can hear nature. And the interstate because it's literally right next to the interstate there's some bushes and then there's the freeway i think this was the first rv spot that i chose that was not really a winner but right next to our campsite also is we have this and that's quite a view it's a it's the delaware river 
where George Washington crashed. All the way to New Jersey. <laughs> I think the nice thing about the RV park, besides the fact that it's on the Delaware, is you're really, really close to your neighbors. It's so convenient. You're right next to the highway. The proximity to the highway made for a poor night of sleep, but also made for a quick getaway in the morning as we decided to hit the road early and put this lackluster campground in our rear view mirror. And as luck would have it, the new day started off pretty well as we stumbled upon a little surprise. You know how sometimes you're just driving along or going through life and then something pops up and you, I gotta go see that? Well, we just left Pennsylvania, crossed over the Delaware, we did the George Washington. Thought we were going to New Jersey. Well, headed we up on. in New York. We were in New York and then we <laughs> saw the sign for Orange County and we have watched a lot of American Chopper. So and we're going to the OCC. I mean, I called ahead, I let Paul Sr. know we were gonna be there, so. Mikey said he might uh, do lunch with us. Because we're pretty not famous. If you're following your GPS to Orange County Choppers, don't take the first exit onto Orr Road. Uh, that takes you to a recycling plant and, the, I don't know, the employee parking. It's a bitch to turn around in. <laughs> so when you have a trailer, it's not easy. go. Corbin. What? There it is. Yep. What? We're here. The OCC. Go into Orange County Choppers and actually get a tour from Polly's sister, Elaine. Paul Senior's sister. Yeah, very nice lady. Great tour. Got to meet uh, Senior real quick and get a picture. He was busy building bikes. I think that was a really good stop. It was a good stop. So if you're in the area, stop by. Tours are actually really cheap. I mean, it's just a few bucks for all three of us. And if you're lucky, you're gonna meet Paul Senior. After the tour, we headed off to beautiful New Hampshire to spend a few days with family. We made a few trips while we were in the area. The first was to Fry's Measure Mill in Wilton. This beautiful mill has been producing handmade shaker boxes since 1858, and visiting is like taking a trip back in time. Check out their link in our description. We followed up the mill with a stop at the Friendly Farm in Keene, New Hampshire. It's a five acre farm that has lots of animals for kids and adults to interact with. Oh, that's the tag indicating you've received your bottle today. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. And that's it. Wow. And we're done. Wow. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Run it on, go. We ended the day with turdlings, and the next morning we set out for Susanna's home state of Maine. We'd be spending a month there getting our residency set up, getting new licenses, forming Hit in the Trail LLC, and doing a lot of other real life tasks. 
And while we had a lot of boring things to do, we still made time to enjoy life and take in some of the beauty of New England. Be sure to watch our next episode where we share some of those adventures. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.